This is a CTEC Nord Go. It's an uh, EVSE uh, electric car charger, and it's a terrible product. Uh, now, this one was just repaired, and I want you to take a look at uh, uh, the voltage we get between the ground and uh, live one. There's nothing there. Live two. A little bit of leakage. One and a half volts. You know, should be nothing, but hey. It's not too bad. Uh, live to line. Uh, what's that? Two something. 1.38 volts, and that's line three. Another one and a half volts. So this thing has a bit of leakage from uh, the uh, plug to the EV connector. That's not good, but you know it's just a couple of volts. It's not going to kill anybody. However. Let me present to you subject number two, another Nord Go. Let's plug this guy in. Now this guy is uh, going to error out after a while because it's got uh, moisture damage because all of these get moisture damage because they have no uh, mitigation for condensation. Now check this out. We have, if we do the same measurement, uh, ground to live one, we have 14 volts. That's a lot, but it's not, you know, not going to kill you. Ground to live two, 177 volts on the EVSE car connector. The charger zeroed out, which is good, I guess. So that's 178 volts. This is supposed to be nothing, it's turned off. And uh, line three, 160 volts. So this thing is leaking, God I even knows how much, straight from the free phase plug to the car connector. Now, the reason I believe this has happened on this particular unit it is because we have these four main uh, switching relays and on these they've knocked off the little uh, nip uh, for ventilation so that these have uh, access to the atmosphere. Now the problem with these chargers is uh, they're completely sealed, they have uh, no vents, no nothing, so they always collect uh, condensation inside. Uh, this is a drawing pack I've added to this one myself uh, and this one had significant moisture damage inside uh, because of that, they all get it. Now what I think has happened is there's enough moisture inside of these relays for there to just be a path leading straight across, putting voltage on the car plug as soon as the charge is plugged in. It's not, not going to be able to feed a lot of current, it's hopefully not going to kill anybody. But man, that's... That's... That's just disappointing. I would expect better from CTEC. These charges are no good. I cannot say <laughs> you should buy this particular product. It is very bad. I'm not even getting into the worst of it. But this is just a safety issue. Sheesh.